In a nostalgic journey through the golden era of Hollywood, we pay tribute to the iconic R Gang series, better known as The Little Rascals. Join us as we explore the life and career of the cast of The Little Rascals, cherishing the memories of a bygone era. Billy Buckwheat Thomas Born in L.A. March 12, 1931, William Thomas Jr. first graced the screen in the 1934 Our Gang Shorts, starring as a background character. Originally portrayed by Carlina Beard, Matthew Stymie Beard's younger sister, the Buckwheat character was a girl who gradually transitioned into being a boy. Thomas's portrayal of Buckwheat, complete with speech impediment, traditional African-American piccaninny attire, bowed pigtails, oversized sweater, and large boots, would later be considered highly controversial. At 23, Thomas enlisted in the U.S. Army, and after his service, he left acting behind. But Billy maintained his passion for film, working as a film lab technician at Technicolor Corporation, and later pursuing film editing and cutting. Tragically, he died at age 49 from a heart condition in October 1980. George Robert Phillips McFarland Born October 2, 1928 in Dallas, George began his career as a child model for a local department store, appearing in Wonder Bread print ads and on Dallas Highway billboards. McFarland's aunt Dottie answered a Hal Roach Studios ad for, quote, cute kids, and he was subsequently cast as Spanky. The nickname originated from his mother, who cautioned him not to misbehave in Roach's office by saying, Spanky mustn't touch. As he grew older, he became affectionately known as Spank. In the series, Spanky was famous as the president of the He-Man Woman Haters Club. At 24, McFarland exited show business and joined the U.S. Air Force. Struggling to break free from the Spanky stereotype, he worked various jobs at a soft drink plant, hamburger stand, and popsicle factory. He later became a popular speaker, reminiscing about his days as a little rascal. His final TV appearance was in a 1993 Cheers episode, Woody Gets an Election, where he played himself. He died of a heart attack in June of that year, aged 64. Matthew Stymie Beard Born in L.A. on January 1, 1925, Matthew Beard Jr. began his acting career as an infant, appearing in numerous films before landing the role of Stymie. Initially named Hercules, director Robert McGowan rechristened the character Stymie, inspired by young Beard's curious explorations around the studio. Sporting a bald head and an oversized derby hat, Stymie became a memorable character. The hat was a gift from comedian Stan Laurel, who had worked with our gang creator Hal Roach. After leaving the series at age 10, Beard secured a few minor roles in films like The Return of Frank James and Captain Blood, alongside fellow child star and our gang alum Jackie Cooper. He retired from acting during high school. Tragically, Beard later developed a heroin addiction, but he managed to turn his life around and after rehabilitation, made guest appearances on Sanford and Son, The Jeffersons, and had a recurring role on Good Times as Monty. In 1978, he featured in the Buddy Holly story, wearing his iconic bowler hat. Beard remained sober, giving lectures on drug abuse awareness. Sadly, he suffered a stroke on January 3, 1981, and sustained head injuries after falling down a flight of stairs. He passed away from pneumonia five days later at age 56. Billy Froggy Laughlin Born in San Gabriel, California, July 5, 1932, William Robert Laughlin found fame at just eight years old when he joined our gang in 1940. Laughlin's character, Froggy, was characterized by his peculiar frog-like voice, which Laughlin himself produced. After our gang ended production in 1944, Laughlin appeared in Johnny Doesn't Live Here Anymore before leaving show business to enjoy his adolescence. Tragically, while delivering newspapers on the back of a scooter gifted by his parents just two weeks prior, he was struck by a speeding truck near his La Puente, California home. He passed away August 31, 1948, at age 16, making him the youngest our gang actor to die. Eugene Porky Lee Born October 25, 1933, in Fort Worth, Texas, Eugene Lee and his family made their way to Culver City, California. Hal Roach noticed the striking resemblance between the 18-month toddler and our gang star Spanky McFarlane, who also hailed from Texas. Consequently, Lee joined the cast as Spanky's younger brother, earning the nickname Porky. But by early 1939, a growth spurt made 5-year-old Lee taller than the 10-year-old McFarlane, leading to his replacement by Mickey Gubitosi, who later became known as Robert Blake. 
Lee quit the entertainment business and became a teacher at Broomfield High School in Colorado. He changed his name to Gordon Lee, which was the name of his favorite Our Gang director, Gordon Douglas, to get away from his acting past. He died of lung and brain cancer October 16, 2005, at age 71. Mickey Gubitosi Born Michael James Gubitosi, September 18, 1933, in Nutley, New Jersey, Robert Blake and his siblings joined their parents in a song and dance act called The Three Little Hillbillies in 1936. The family relocated to Los Angeles in 38, where the children began working as movie extras. At nine years old, Blake replaced Porky in The Little Rascals as Mickey, eventually becoming Spanky's best friend and the group's leader. Despite his Italian heritage, adult roles often saw Robert Blake cast as a Native American or Latino character. After serving in the Army, Blake returned to acting and gained fame as an undercover police officer in the TV series Beretta. But his life took a difficult turn following the loss of his wife and facing legal scrutiny for nearly a decade. Although he published a memoir titled Tales of a Rascal, What I Did for Love, public opinion on Blake remained unchanged. The former child actor had his legacy marred by suspicion surrounding the unsolved murder of his second wife. He passed away March 9, 2023. Mildred Kornman Kornman was among the few remaining people from the silent films, having participated in over 20 Our Gang comedy shorts from 1926 to 35, her career spanning both the silent and sound eras. After leaving Our Gang, Kornman appeared in a dozen uncredited feature films from 1937 to 62. As a rare surviving actor who worked with Laurel and Hardy, she transitioned into high fashion modeling in the 40s under the pseudonym Ricky Van Dusen. She graced the covers of prestigious magazines like Bazaar and Vogue and posed for renowned photographers like Irving Penn. Over the years, she attended numerous fan conventions where she was a popular guest. She passed away at age 97, as reported by her longtime friend Robert Satterfield. Jerry Tucker Born Jerome Harold Schatz in Chicago, Tucker's German-Jewish surname was changed for his acting career. He first showed up in the R Gang short Shiver My Timbers in 1931. Subsequently, he was in many more episodes until he left the show after the 1938 short Three Men in a Tub. Apart from Our Gang, Tucker played a spoiled rich kid in Marie Dressler's film Prosperity and appeared as one of Mother Peep's children in Laurel and Hardy's 1934 feature film Babes in Toyland. He also starred alongside Shirley Temple in Captain January in 1936, portraying a know-it-all boy who forgets his test answers. Tucker served in the U.S. Navy during World War II and the Korean War, stationed aboard the USS Sigsby. He sustained an injury that left him with a limp when his ship was hit by a Japanese kamikaze during World War II. Tucker died of natural causes November 23, 2016, at the Long Island State Veterans Home in Stony Brook, New York, at age 91. Darla Hood Born November 8, 1931, in Oklahoma, Darla was introduced to singing and dancing by her mother at a young age. For her third birthday, they traveled to New York to pursue fame in the arts. Hal Roach Studios casting director Joe Rivkin cast her as Darla in the Our Gang shorts. She's best remembered for her flirtatious demeanor, as she was often the object of affection for Alfalfa, Butch, and Waldo. She had an appendectomy while planning a 1980 Little Rascals reunion. But on June 13, 1979, she died of heart failure at age 47. Carl Alfalfa Switzer Born August 7, 1927, in Paris, Illinois, Carl Dean Switzer and his brother Harold gained local fame for their musical talents. In 1934, the Switzers visited California to see family and took a tour of Hal Roach Studios, where The Little Rascals was filmed. They dined at the Our Gang Cafe and gave an impromptu performance. Roach happened to be present and was so impressed he signed them both immediately. Carl was given the nickname Alfalfa. After exiting the series in 1940, Switzer struggled with typecasting and had difficulty finding roles. He eventually left the industry and became a dog breeder and hunting guide. Sadly, he met a tragic end in 1959 when he was fatally shot during a dispute over $50 and a hunting dog. Sidney Kibrick Sidney Kibrick, known for his role as Woim in Our Gang, left Hollywood at 11 years old, but his fame has persisted. Now 95, he's one of the last surviving cast members. He was discovered during the Great Depression while on the way to the theater with his mother. 
A man approached and asked if he'd like to be in a movie, and his parents agreed. Soon after, he was working alongside Shirley Temple in his first film. After leaving showbiz, he became a successful builder, developing properties in Palm Springs. Now it's time to hear from you. Who was your favorite little rascal? Let us know in the comments section below.